Hello and welcome to Whiskey Web, live from the Whiskey Snug. Hope you're safe, hope you're well, hope you're doing alright. Um, excuse the Charlie Sheen here today, I was outside going for a walk because there's pretty much nothing else to do these days other than go for a walk on your days off. And uh, yeah, the wind was blowing and uh, on the way back, uh, went through the field, played with the goats for a while and then here I am, sat at the in the whiskey snug. So just sitting, recovering after a windy day. Uh, and I thought I'd share with you a little whiskey here called uh, Writer's Tears Cast Strength 2019. Now this is quite a, a rare cast strength whiskey from Ireland. Um, to be honest you don't see a whole lot of cast strength whiskies from Ireland and I would love to see more because it's definitely my preferred choice of how whiskey should be. Um, so this one is one of the most exotically boxed and packaged Irish whiskies I've ever seen. Now this is a cast strength at 53% alcohol. And check this out. <laughs> it's like it's it's in a bit of furniture. I think they've just chopped up some piece of furniture from IKEA and repackaged it into this kind of like yeah, into this weird bottle holder. Let's try and get into this thing. So this is one of 2,580 bottles uh, from Bernard Walsh, who's the owner of uh, Writer's Tears and the Irishman Whiskies. And uh, he's a bit of a trailblazer. Like this guy, he's a, an interesting backstory, and I highly recommend you like go on YouTube, um, Walsh Whiskey, Writer's Tears, and look at how it all came about, because it's a very interesting story, like this guy started contract distilling essentially, he got whiskey from Middleton, you know, the, the big distilling Death Star in Ireland and Cork, and uh, he started creating his own brands, and um, he did very well at it, like really good. And then around 2014-2015, he thought, okay, I'll take this concept and I'll build my own distillery and start manufacturing my whiskies at my own place, which would be wonderful. You know, what better than to bring it in-house, all your production, that would be great. Um, to fund it, he went in with some Italian partners, and they put in about 23, 25 million euros or something, and then they came together. But it was a short, short partnership. It didn't really work out too well. So after three years, um, and I think they just announced it last year, they split. Um, so you've got now, uh, the Italians have kept hold of the distillery that was built at Royal Oak, and I think it's uh, Carlo, around Carlo there in, in our, Southeast Ireland, um, which is a crazy night out, by the way. If you ever go to Carlo, like, oh, amazing, check out the foundry, uh, when we get back to normal, that is. Um, and, yeah, the Italians kept the distillery and Bernard Walsh, he kept the brands. So he owns the brands, the Writer's Tears and the Irishman. The Italians kept the distillery. So it was a, a short, not very sweet uh, relationship. Uh, but at least they've managed to leave, I think, relatively amicably and they can keep going in their own capacities. Um, so it'll be interesting to see what happens now where the Writer's Tears continue to have their stuff manufactured at this new distillery or whether they go back to what they did before, which was source stuff from Middleton, which makes Jameson, of course. Um, so that's the background story. So maybe it's not writer's tears, maybe it's owner's tears as well. Maybe that should be part of it. Um, I think for these like trying times, it's good to put yourself slightly larger measure than normal, you know, you want to be, uh, we've all got a lot of time on our hands so you want to drag things out a lot longer, whether it's doing the laundry or washing the dishes or, you know, just drag it out, make it bigger, make it longer, fill up your day, little units of time. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of like fruit, vanilla, oak. It's, it's, it's kind of like a, an easy going nose. There's a slight funk in there too. 
I mean, for cast strength whiskey, it doesn't really have the prickle and burn that you would typically associate with full cast strength whiskey. I think what they've done with this is they've they've said it's cast strength, but at 53% um, for the age, it's probably been watered down a little bit. So it's kind of like semi cask strength, I would say. It's almost like one of them f sweet fruit salad tins that you get, you know, it's got a kind of sugary background to it but with loads of fruit as well. There's, there's a slight tinge of like funky wood in there, there's like um, maybe a couple of casts that um, were a bit sort of dusty or whatever but it's, it's not unpleasant, it's fine. I like the delivery, like if you check out the legs on any cast strength whiskey, you're going to get these large legs that drip down slowly, it gives you an idea of the oiliness and the viscousness of the whiskey. And also, if you give the good whiskey a shake, when it's cast strength you can see all these bubbles forming. Now this is a good test, if you're ever in a blind tasting, um, give the whiskey a shake, if you get lots of bubbles then you know it's about 50% alcohol. There's no bubbles, it's probably below 50% alcohol, so there's a wee tip for you there. Mm. So, yeah, not, not bad, pretty good whiskey. Um, the cost for this one, probably around a couple hundred bucks or so in BC and Canada. Uh, quite hard to find, it's a limited edition, you know, less than 3,000 bottles worldwide, so, uh, you know, if you find it, it's definitely worth checking out because it's something unusual, something different and with the rise of Irish distilling right now I, I like the way they're branching off into these new areas it's a, a lot more interesting than just having Jameson and Bush Mills you know the more variety the more the spice in life right so um, check it out uh, if you get the chance I uh, highly recommend just standard right as tiers as well excellent whiskey really good value and I think it actually beat all the other whiskies in the Irish tasting that I did last year so Thumbs up for, for Rainer's Tears. Stay safe. Um, if you're looking for any wisdom, by the way, um, check out um, Adam Bradshaw. He started a new channel called uh, Drinking It Out Loud. Um, it just launched a couple of days ago. I think it's the 22nd of March today. But um, he is one of the whiskey icons on the island, Vancouver Island, uh, based in Victoria. He runs the Strathcona Liquor Store. And he actually uh, sourced this whiskey for me. So um, once again, a big shout out to Adam Bradshaw and thanks for all your help for finding interesting whiskies that I can use as part of the Shelter Point Whiskey Club and something that I can share with my friends. So yeah, if you want something a bit different, I highly recommend checking out um, Adam Bradshaw's YouTube channel and the Strathcona Liquor Store. Um, anything to do like the Victoria whiskey scene, like he's, he's one of the guys to speak to. So. Uh, cheers to Adam, cheers to you, stay safe, uh, be happy, uh, any questions or comments at all about Irish whiskey, cast strength writers, tears, let me know, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video, thanks, cheers.